Frank, we'll start with the quarterback and tight end positions. QBs first, and you like Josh Allen this week. What's not to like about Josh Allen right now? Everyone's talking about Lamar Jackson, and rightfully so, but it's about time we open our eyes and give Josh Allen the credit where it's due. He's been a top five quarterback in back-to-back -back weeks, 234 rushing yards over the past two games. He's had at least 99 rushing yards in each one of those. So, you know, while we talk about Lamar Jackson and we say that the rushing production that he gives you is a safe floor for fantasy purposes, even if they turn the ball over a little bit, the fact that they're giving you that many rushing yards just helps immensely from the quarterback position. And then whatever he adds on top of that, in terms of throwing and scoring touchdowns. He's going to score at least one or two touchdowns. He pretty much is the focal point of the Bills' offense at this point. And you look at, he's facing the Jets this week, and they've allowed multiple touchdown passes in three straight. They've allowed multiple touchdown passes in eight of their last nine. So I know there's a lot of numbers going on right now, but basically if he throws for multiple touchdowns and rushes for anything close to what he's been doing the past couple of weeks, He's going to be at least a top 10 quarterback again this week in week 14. I know it's a little bit tougher to trust this guy in your fantasy playoffs, but especially in super flex leagues or two quarterback leagues, definitely, definitely want to get Josh Allen in this week against the New York Jets. He's been getting running back type production on the ground. He netted over 30 fantasy points on FanDuel this past weekend. Josh Allen needs to be considered as you browse your waiver wire.